Okay, so something has come up that is a bit disconcerting in terms of what you're supposed to learn. In the 2018 Common Body of Knowledge, we have Incident Management, and in the 2021, we have Incident Response. And so let's take a look at this now. So in the 2018 Common Body of Knowledge, we had these phases here, the DRM, RRRL, and in the 2021 common body of knowledge we have these phases here and so which one is the correct one that's the question that's come up so here we have the official isc squared exam outline so if we go down to i believe it's 7.6 we can see that according to isc squared in 2021 we're going to have the same incident management topics that we have or that we had in 2018 at least that's what it looks like right this is according to their official exam outline now the next document i'm about to show you is the mapping document that isc squared gave me and all other students who purchased this official training from them directly for 849 dollars and this is basically a pre-recorded videos and pre-recorded slides this is their official training it's from their site as you can see and they gave us all the students who went through this training they gave us a mapping document for this training and what this mapping document does see look it says exam outline comparison and what this does is it compares the exam outline that we just looked at with their official training and it shows you where you're going to find all of those those topics in their training and a little disclaimer here their training is extremely discombobulated it's unorganized and it was just very sloppily put together when i purchased this training and if you're if you purchased it as well you'll notice that they gave you this exam outline comparison and if we look for the incident management topics in 7.6 see here we go conduct incident management so this is the exam outline on the left here and then where you're going to find it in their training and so they were separated out by chapters and modules and those would contain the videos and the slides that you would need to see and read so as you can see here these are the same as the 2018 topics we have detection response mitigation reporting recovery remediation and lessons learned and you can find those for some reason in chapter eight not chapter seven but chapter eight module four so what i'm going to show you next is my detailed notes on chapter eight module four and you won't see a whole lot of incident management in here okay so here we go now these aren't just notes that i took the training videos themselves allowed you to download a transcript of what the guy said um, so anyway so this chapter 8 module 4 which is supposed to have incident management is actually incident response and i'll show you why so it starts talking about events and then it starts going into incident response standards and i was a little surprised by this because i was expecting incident management right so it starts going into incident response standards and then it shows us the NIST four phase cycle 861 and it shows these phases here which don't match the previous 2018 common body of knowledge phases and they tell us about ISO 27035 which has these which almost map to what I am about to show you and what my previous video shows you but they don't match the 2018 common body of knowledge which is in the exam outline and so here here is where they refer to incident management in this module. So probably the only spot that they do this. And they say it involves these phases. And he says preparation, detection, analysis, response, and review. That's not even, I mean, we have detection and response, I think, which are mappable to each other, but everything else is different. And then it gets into incident response activities. It talks about the SOC concept. And then it goes into after preparation and then a few other random topics it goes into detection and then it, we're actually getting into the phases now shows you uh, some activities that are done in each one of these phases we have the analysis phase which is like the triage response phase and uh, root cause analysis this is all new this wasn't talked about in the 2018 common body of knowledge um, the fishbone the fault trees all that stuff we have incident response activities uh, mitigate we have mitigation here which contains containment and eradication as substeps. So then we have recovery and remediation. It goes into what happens there. Reporting. 
it's and again they keep saying incident response they don't say incident management here we have review and improvement and that's it okay so i did do a mapping of the two topics here and as you can see these phases differ quite a bit in in what happens they're they're essentially similar but uh, it's a little bit different in terms of what's going to happen at each phase and so as you can see detection maps almost exactly in fact it does map exactly to what detection phase is so we have detection and response the response phase it it is a little bit different so it doesn't map directly from 2018 to 2021. So, you know, some of these activities are similar, but they're not exactly the same. For example, the triage is not part of response. The triage is part of analysis. So there's that difference there. And in 2018, it was more about, you know, the response phase being where the triage is done. The decision by management is made to declare it as an incident. Now in 2021, they're declaring it as an incident during the analysis phase. So, so it's, it's almost like analysis has these two steps in it, the triage, and they've added a few additional things here. Incident response now has a preparation step or phase in which they outline that you need to have policy, planning, procedures, training. You need to incorporate that into your training and train the individuals on their roles in incident response and also you need to have the appropriate tools and software in place for it for the incident response to take place so there's quite a bit of a difference uh, but it is important to know who's getting the correct material is it the students or is it the authors of these books and i would since the training the official training came from isc squared directly that's where i would place my confidence and so i would go with this side here the 2021 as i said in my video these phases are now different and i think that that what's happening here is if, if you work for a large company a large organization you'll know how hard it is for the left hand to talk to the right hand and so what i think is happening is that well, let me show you one more thing. Let's go to... So what I think is happening here is whatever these authors are getting from ISC squared is not the same as what ISC squared is giving us in the self-paced training. And so who do we trust? That's the question, right? Who, who are you going to trust in terms of... And I'm not an author. I didn't write a book. Uh, I am only here to help bridge the gap between you as a student, as a candidate for the CISSP. I'm, I'm trying to bridge the gap between you and these authors who are producing this content and ISC squared because there's, there's a disconnect. I believe there's a large disconnect between all of us and who are learning this stuff, ISC squared and these guys because this to me shows that they that whatever they're giving to the authors the writers of these books isn't matching what they're giving to the students and maybe some of it is but not all of it so apparently they didn't i don't think they got the memo in terms of incident management which makes me wonder what else they didn't get the memo on and how often do they need to maybe check with isc squared i mean i don't know if anybody can reach out to the authors or isc squared themselves i've actually tried emailing isc squared and nothing happens they never respond i asked them questions about their training because it was not really good and i asked them specific topics and the teachers never got back to me so i don't know what's happening and all i can say is that this is what they gave me here and that's what i presented in my previous video and in terms of who you should believe I'll, I'll leave that up to you at some point i plan to go back and actually purchase one of these books and do a thorough review to kind of see if there are any other things that may have been left out so and if you have taken the self-paced training and you have a different take on all of this that i just showed you please let me know in the comments and let let me know what your thoughts are on this. I'm not saying I'm right. I could be completely wrong. Maybe I missed a module or maybe I just copied down the wrong thing. I don't know for sure, but uh, it's it's open for discussion. So there you have it. Let, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this, if, if they got it wrong or if you think I got it wrong or if you're not sure who you believe. Let me know what your thoughts are and and we'll keep this discussion going and hopefully at some point we'll come to a conclusion maybe we can reach out to the authors and get them to try and get better material from isc squared all right good luck in your studies and have a great day